Okay, we got the Bridgewood home. We've got two 16-footers. This is going to be the bridge going over the river. This is a 21-footer. This is going to go across either the back pool in the very center or we were thinking the pool pond because it's, I'm sorry, 26 foot. It fits across that 25 foot pool span and we can walk across the middle of the pool. We don't know. I've got extra wood up there because these have these big pins and on the other side there's nuts. So I kept this because there's three extra pins in that. Um, but and you can see all these pins here. There's one with the nuts. There's the nuts. There's nut. There's nut. And let me show you the end of this wood. We cut it with a saw, a chainsaw. So that's one four foot bridge. This is another four foot bridge. And then this one here is the 26 foot, four foot wide bridge. So they're all bolted together. And, oh, let me see. But before I can even mess with this, we had to go get another chainsaw because this one here broke. So we gotta go get another chainsaw blade. I've got three stumps to pull out in the backyard. Uh, there are small ones and then I've got a big one to pull out on the other side of the house on that side before I return this chainsaw tomorrow morning so it's getting dark we're gonna lose light soon so I got to get this done in the rain Two by four, four by four, something. Got it, man. They used all the wood to build that thing in the back. Do I want to put them on both ends? Because if you put it in the middle, it's going to be in the way of the bucket. No, they, no, they. Please put it in there. Now put one the other way. All right, now just set it down on them. I brought you back here to show you. We finally, look what we did. We cut that thing out of there. After all these years. Oh my God, it's been there for so long and we tried so many times. It, it, I, I, that was too big to cut through. But we finally got it down. Uh, so, so now we that can. That carbide uh, bit on that chainsaw worked pretty good. We never got it to fit the chainsaw. Uh -huh. The well, carbide. Which one, how did you get this out of here? Using this was the, the same chainsaw blade we used cutting them bridges. We come home and use it on here. That's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't the carbide bit, though. <laughs> uh, then back here. Ouch. Oh. We've got these trees. What are these called again? Well, burning these, bushes? These are, yeah, these are the burning bushes. We need to buy, you know, three or four more. Right. So we can do this whole hedge across here and uh, not have to worry about it. Yeah, every five foot or so, and they'll fill out really nice. Ouch. Watch down here. It's all wet. I'll walk around this way too. Oh. 
Ouch. Okay. I don't know. Maybe overflowing from all the rain we've had. It's possible, but look back here. We got the the bobcat pulled the bridges back here. We had to drag them back here. Ouch! It's gonna be so awesome once we get them in place. <sighs> yeah, these things are major heavy. What we figure we'll do is once we put them in place, we'll take and put uh planking over the top make it look nice and new you know that one there's 16 foot this one's 16 foot but you know even i don't know uh, any kind of uh something decorative over the top even if we take uh that plastic uh you know patio stuff oh right right and then put that over it to where it never rots or looks bad and uh these are just going to sink sunk into the ground and span in the, the area and we pulled it like this with a strap. But yeah, we got them all back here. From up there, it was a long way. And uh, you know, now we gotta take them over here and put them in place. I'd like to do that today, but I don't know if I have, John's coming over and Josh will be here. I don't know if I have enough hands to dig into the bank on each side. Ouch. We gotta dig down like a foot. Can you just use the... Uh Dozer? It's not a, uh, a, a mini uh, excavator. It's it's just got the plow or the blade up front. Um, so we're going to put it right across there, covering over top of them cement, cement things. Yeah, that's going to be our bridge. Eight foot wide, and we'll be able to drive over it. So and then we'll take out the walk bridge. Now, the big long piece. Uh-huh. Is that one long enough for, is that what? To go over the back pond right in the middle. Because the back pond, if you look at it, it's shaped like an eyeglasses. Right. right around that white birch tree, it gets real skinny. So right behind the birch tree, we're going to put that big long piece of wood and have a walk bridge over the pond. And uh, you don't have to walk around the pond to get to the other side. <laughs> but yeah, we've been uh, busting butt around here and getting this stuff done. And uh, I can't wait another couple of days, and we'll have a bridge. Been wanting it for ten years since I've been here. Aren't they? That's like twelve by eighteen. One piece of lumber. This is a twelve by twelve on the end here, and then that's like a twelve by eight and a twelve by six there, and then this is a twelve by eighteen. <laughs> And they're pinned together every four foot with these big, huge pins. You can see a, a nut there and a nut there. You can actually see the pin one up there. Right here. Oh, there, there's a pin right there. Yeah, this one's sticking out a little bit. But this is that scrap. Oh, no, no, that's the scrap piece where you can actually. Yeah, this one's really it. loose, but this is going to be a walk bridge. Right. So we can just put it over there and put it together and it'll be fine. That's the scrap piece we got extra pins in. So yeah, we'll be fine with all this. Yeah, cute. Okay, Reaper says he saw babies over here, so let's look. Yeah, see one right there, one over there. I one don't I see. Started over there. There's another one right there. That one was a white with black on them. You can already see color in the babies. Yeah. Ooh, see right there, right in the middle. See, he's white with black right on his head. No, I don't see. By the curled leaf. Oh, he just oh I just moved. I yeah. see him moving. Yeah, see? I can see him swimming. Yeah. See? That was a white with black. Nice. nice. Yeah. There's and babies. Gold, oh, there's gold ones. They're just like sitting on the bottom, right by the rocks right there. Nice. Two of them. They're about that big. Really? An inch long? Mm-hmm. Way bigger. Twice the size of that one. Whoa. How about great. this purple plant over here? You see any over here? I love this purple plant. Me too. Got another flower getting ready to pop up right there. There's too. three of them coming up. Oh, I see a baby. Do we, where, 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 where? Right? Oh, right there. Yeah. Two of them under the leaves. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's another there's white more. black. 
It's like they're hiding under the leaves. Yep. So, yep, they're here too. In this corner, I said, they titled. Very them. nice. Very nice. Yeah, you guys did good. You got us babies. I'm a grandpa. And they're in the river. That's yeah, I don't know river. how they got up in the river. <laughs> Neither did Josh, but. And then we got purple flowers, yellow flowers, and then we got pink flowers, and white flowers, and pink with the yellow insides. That's just a beautiful. Let me let me zoom in on that. Pink with the yellow insides. We got white flowers over there. More pink ones over here. And that plant's half lotus. It's coming up off the water. <laughs> <laughs> and of course our waterfall making this beautiful noise. I love it. Backyard starting to come together. Oh, they coming over. You got food? Food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're all coming over. Well, they you know, they used bed. to run from us. Now they're coming to us. 